something. Yeah. Was yeah. it smart motorways nonsense, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, it's it's that really good idea yeah. of smart motorways. <laughs> What's up with the sat nav today? Just being a funny mood. Yeah, it's got. A, I think it would, sure it would have got us turning right instead of left in uh, onto the N28. And now she wants us to come off here. And now she wants us, doesn't want us to go across the Dartford crossing. But we switched her off. She can have a rest. do on the bed bit. <laughs> so this is Thurrock Services, so anyone who's interested. A nightmare to get into, yeah. right, caravan Absolutely. straight on. Yeah. I don't mean here, do they? No. no. HGV right, HGV car park. So we lost the signs. only. Yeah. So where? Where do we go now? It's down there, down there. Who designs the... Well, because some idiot has stuck a sticker on it, haven't they? That's why you can't see it. It's in here. Here? Yeah. Right, caravans only. Caravans only, that's where the trucks are then. <laughs> Looks like this should be for caravans, doesn't it? Yeah. driven across half the country that <laughs> it was uh, the, the M20 was a whole set of roadworks just continuous roadworks the M25 was its usual stop start the A14 was closed and the, goodness knows what else other road closures are around A5 was closed or something wasn't it yeah so we've come After up the 1000 feet enter the roundabout take the first exit onto B661 so we've come up the A1 and actually A1's been alright, hasn't it? It has. It's been the best road yeah. since we left France, hasn't it? Yeah. The Thurrock, where we tried to stop... Enter the roundabout, take the first exit. Well, where we did stop was a, a nightmare, wasn't it? Yeah. Thurrock was... Well, it was shopping there. There were just cars everywhere, weren't they? Yeah. Considering there's not supposed to be as much money around. Yeah, so we're finally here, aren't we? Yeah. Having time to believe Eva, eight o'clock? No, it was half seven. Half seven. Half seven, yeah. Got it's to the tunnel really easily, apart yeah. from little hiccup at the beginning. Um, and then apart from what? Little hiccup at the beginning when we went the wrong way on the. Right instead of left on yeah. the thirty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'll edit that, that out though, so you won't know about that. <laughs> apart from that, we. We, you know, it was okay, wasn't it? We got got to the tunnel early, got through the pet passports, got 
on the earlier train an hour earlier than we thought and we're still not going to arrive until three o'clock. Anyway, graph and water. Yeah. Well, we used to come a lot, didn't we, when we lived down here? Yeah, because it was, well, a short journey up the A1. Yeah, well, yeah. Just felt like a huge journey up the A1 yeah. today. I must stop moaning. I'm a bit tired. I think that's yeah, the trouble. I think that's the yeah. Uh, After 1,000 feet, turn right. The Glenn's followed us all the way along as well. Here we are. Place you can stop up here, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Just the, if you want to walk around the, uh, the water. water. Is it here? It's no, a bit not here. Further. Yeah, there's a car park on the on the, on the left here. There's a cycling place. I've got some cycling gear from in there as well. Yeah, it's in there, isn't it? The visitor centre. Yeah. After 1,000 feet, turn left onto Church Road. Take the next left onto Church Road. Just make sure Glyn's caught me up here. Yelch. Mind the trees. to go to the right, doesn't it? That's all yellow hatches there. I think you've got to go to the left. Well, it said vans to the right, did not it? Well, that's confused me completely because... I think, yeah, it's just to leave the way through, isn't it? Oh, he's going anyway. Yeah, the stop sign, stop thing on the road is over there. Well, that's why I thought you're supposed to go over there. <laughs> I think he's confused me. This is our Oliver Cromwell's old cottage, isn't it, here? Yeah. Yep. So back on our caravan club site. This is Graffham Water. It's quite a nice 
quite a small site. There are some grass pitches, but they're all closed now for the winter. Uh, usual sort of water points. Lots of smells, lots of sniffs, eh, girls? Go on, guys. Spotty, poppy spotty something. It's a squirrel, isn't it? Out into the field. Go on. It's a quick walk down here. And there's a walk that goes around the field here. And goes off down there. And it can go all the way around the field. I'm not going to do that today. We're limited for time. There's a bit of noise from this campsite because you can hear the A14 just over there. It's not too bad. Right. Another bit that goes around here. This is mainly the grass pitches are closed now. It's a little bridge here. See a swimming pool over there. The sun is really bright. Okay, probably better, isn't it? leaving graph and water. I've got the sat nav on because I think we know where we're going. I think we know the way home, don't we? Yeah. So wave goodbye at uh, Glenn and Sharon if they can see us. I might have to go and pop in and say hello if they can't see us. They're going to come out. Right, we're off then, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, Tara. Tara. Sunny, sunny Glen. <laughs> and we'll see we'll see you on Sunday. Yeah, all right then. Safe okay. journey all then. Right. See you then. Bye then. Bye. Yeah, so what do you think of graph and water then? Well I I've always liked it. I mean we used to come here before, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Swimming pool. Yeah. So wait weird arrangement with these um pitches here, isn't it? There's one um, non awning and then an awning and then a non awning. And yeah, yeah. And the other side are all service pitches. Yeah, I think we'd have to come here and stay a bit longer on a, on a service, service pitch. pitch. Bring my bike, I'm gonna go cycling you could, around the you, lake. Well, that's what you did when we came yeah. all those years ago. Yeah, well, brought your bike and went all. Such a bad idea, would it? No, no, it's not. Too There's a little far. trip possibly for November. Yep. Not sure how long it. If, I don't think it's open all year, so I don't. Is it not? I don't, I think so. Alright. I'd have to check the uh, 
Caravan and Motorhome Club website. website. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's sad that it's the last um, sight on our European trip. I know it's not very European. What well, it is? Uh, it's still in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Only, only just. Um, <laughs> So a little bit sad about that. We, we both want to get back home. There's a lot of things to, to do and sort out because we've got the NEC coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Two weeks time. Yeah, we've only got like, is it less 10 days yeah. before that? So all the washing to do and the yeah. clean the van, see if I can get on the road to getting this damage mended. And of course the dogs desperately need a they need a haircut. don't they? Yeah, and a, and a BATH and a BRUSH. <laughs> Do they yeah. go to the G-R-O-O-M-I-N-G? <laughs> Not until we're after the NEC. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we go yeah. before the NEC. Can we find they... any more abbreviations? No. <laughs> Perhaps I think Poppy's asleep anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go, we're off and uh, we'll catch up with you. Yeah. When we do, we hope to do a little review, aren't we? Yeah, we'll do, perhaps do a little review video of what we thought, you know, costs and involved and all that sort of thing. So watch out for that and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye then. Bye.